Welcome back to another video, everyone. So this video is going to be very similar to the conspiracy videos that I make. Every time I make one of those videos where I look at conspiracy Instagram accounts, I always come across Simpsons conspiracy theories about how they've managed to predict all these future events. In fact, there was one in the previous conspiracy video that I made about Donald Trump. These Simpsons predictions have been around for years now, and they've even became a meme. Because of how frequently you'd see people claiming that Simpsons predicted something, people started to make parodies of them and stuff, and I'm sure you've seen them. So we thought today we'd take a look at some of these Simpsons predictions conspiracy theory posts and see if they actually did predict these future events or if they're just bullshit, which was the case for the Donald Trump one, by the way, if you haven't seen that video. It said that episode released in, I think it was 2000, early 2000s or something. But actually it wasn't, it was, I can't remember if it was taken from an episode or a video clip, like a short clip, but either way it was released in 2015, not 2000. And apparently it predicted the map as well, but the map was taken from a different episode and that episode had nothing to do with Trump. Many people believe that a 1993 episode of The Simpsons predicted the coronavirus outbreak. The episode shows Asian characters sneezing and spreading some sort of virus in packages, which are then opened by Homer and other characters who get affected by the virus. Alright, well the first thing I noticed is that it says Osaka flu at the bottom right, which is in Japan, not China, so already it's wrong. I won't be able to show you clips from The Simpsons because the video will get claimed even if I just show 5 seconds. But there's a one minute clip that I watched that these screenshots are taken from and yeah, it's got nothing to do with China. Also, there was another version of this post that went viral, but um, it included a different picture. In this one, it shows a news reporter at the bottom right and it says coronavirus on the screen. But it turns out that screenshot is taken from a completely different episode and the coronavirus text is photoshopped onto it. It actually says apocalypse meow and they didn't remove it so you can still see it behind the text. So no, the Simpsons didn't predict the coronavirus virus. While we're on this topic, we might as well talk about the Ebola prediction. Simpsons predict Ebola virus 1997-2014. Unlike the last one, this one actually isn't photoshopped. It really does say Curious George and the Ebola virus and the episode did air in 1997. However, a quick little Google search was able to solve this. Ebola was discovered in 1976 following major outbreaks that year in the Sudan and Zaire. In the 1990s, the disease saw a resurgence with an outbreak in Gabon in 1994, followed by another in Zaire in 1995. Now it does say that there was an even bigger Ebola outbreak a couple years after the episode aired. And then of course there was the biggest Ebola outbreak that happened a couple years ago, five, six years ago. But did they really predict it if there had already been major outbreaks before that episode? I'm gonna say no. I mean, I'd say the, the closest thing it predicted was maybe it spreading to other parts of the world, but it's not enough for me to say that it predicted this. The Simpsons predicted the closure of the famous American American shop chain called Toys R Us. Man, just knowing that Toys R Us isn't a thing anymore still makes me quite sad. Of course, I don't go there anymore. I haven't been in years, but I feel for the kids growing up now because I remember walking into Toys R Us seeing rows of toys. It was magical. Kids these days won't be able to experience that. F in the chat. Anyway, did the Simpsons predict this? Well, in the clip, a woman says, let's go kill every child-friendly thing in town. And they go on a rampage destroying things like a ball pit and a statue. In the scene with with Toys R Us in, all that happens is Mo climbs up a ladder, he, get, he takes the letter R, and he flips it around. It cuts to a shot of the kids crying and that's it. They don't actually close down because they went bankrupt in the show. In fact, they don't close down at all. Mo doesn't even take the Toys R Us sign down. <laughs> the screenshots of the kids crying and the ladder going up to the sign does make it look like The Simpsons predicted it, but they didn't. Shit, The Simpsons predicted Harambe's death. Now I think this one is more of a meme than it is like actually trying to be serious, but I have seen serious posts with this theory. But first and foremost, rest in peace to Harambe. Can you believe that it's nearly been four years? since that happened. I'm gonna say The Simpsons half predicted this one. I say half because the event doesn't actually pan out the way the real Harambe event did. Harambe unfortunately was shot and the ape in The Simpsons wasn't. But Tutu still pulled Bart in and kept him in the cage, which is kind of similar, so I'd say they half predicted it. Well, when I say that, I don't mean to say they're sitting down, you know, pr trying to predict all these future events. Obviously, it was just a coincidence, but you know what I mean. Now, the next one is quite strange, actually. Homer Simpson figured out Higgs boson 14 years before scientists. So this one is actually legit. This episode came out in 1998, and this equation is what would pretty much be the Higgs boson particle that was discovered in 2012. And no, it's not Photoshop or anything, like this was actually in the episode, but there is a bit of information about 
about it. One of the writers on the show who wrote that formula for Homer was a mathematician. Apparently he contacted a friend from high school who at that point was an astronomer and they both worked on the formula together. So it wasn't completely random but it's still incredible and I'm definitely counting this one as a prediction. What's the score now? How many have, how many have been in the video? I think six. I think they're one and a half up. The next one is from 2016. Remember Pokemon Go? I think it's still played by a lot of people but back then it was on another level. And this was probably the first Simpsons prediction post that I ever saw. It's starting to get scary how much the Simpsons have predicted. Hashtag Pokemon Go. Yeah, this picture went viral shortly after the game came out. It looks a lot like Pokemon Go. You can see Pikachu in the Pokeball, but guess what? It's Photoshop. I did my intensely time-consuming one search on Google and I found out that this is actually the image from that episode. Yeah, because of how popular these are, they've already been explained by countless different websites. Someone added in the hand and the phone of Pokemon Go and I have to admit, they did a really good job. I mean, it blends in very well. It looks exactly like it would be if it was in the episode. I can see why some people back then would believe it, but I mean, come on, look, this was posted in 2020. Yeah, it's from 2016, but it's still being reposted to this day. There's no excuse at this point. You know, just Google it. One search is enough for you to find out that it's not real. Now the next one is a two in one, but I forgot to screenshot it and I can't find the same post on Google when I search it up. One of the theories is how they managed to predict autocorrect from an episode in 1994. And another one from the same picture is how they managed to predict the Apple iPhone. I found out that Microsoft Word actually had an autocorrect feature from as early as 1993. But the autocorrect joke in that episode was actually just a reference to the Apple Newton, which was a device that released in 1993. The Newton originated the term personal digital assistant and it was the first to feature handwriting recognition. Now this thing was an innovative device at the time, but it had a couple problems. The handwriting recognition on it wasn't that good, so it would make mistakes, which led to jokes and critiques about it. Trust me, I know I'm a 90s baby, born in the 90s, 99 specifically, I remember them like it was yesterday. So that's what this was, it was a reference to the Apple Newton and it's bad handwriting recognition. That puts an end to the other theory as well about it predicting the Apple iPhone. This one states that they predicted the smartwatch 20 years, over 20 years before it, you know, became a popular thing. And this screenshot is real. It's from a 1995 episode, but they weren't the first to sort of think of this idea. You know, they'd appeared in movies and TV shows and stuff like that before this episode. Like in James Bond films where he has a high-tech futuristic watch that can help him with whatever tasks he needs to accomplish. Not only that, but the earliest smartwatches that were ever made were made before this episode. Obviously, they were nothing like what they are today, but still. So if anything predict it, it would have been whatever movie or TV show or whatever it was that had the idea first. But after looking at a few of these, you can see why there's so many Simpsons predictions out there and why conspiracy posts say that they've predicted everything. Because a lot of them are either photoshopped and completely fake. A lot of them are taken way out of context, like the Toys R Us one, where he didn't even take the sign down and they didn't even close down. Some of them are very exaggerated and other times the thing that they're predicting is already a thing, just not as popular or, you know, as advanced as it is in the future. A lot of them just take the screenshots from an episode and twist it, you know, and people believe it. All you have to do is Google Simpson screenshots and find one that has a real life reference and just say that they predicted it before it actually happened. But yeah, that is going to be it for this video. I might do a part two in the future at some point if you want, because there's literally hundreds of these Simpsons predictions that have been going on for years. Is. I just wanted to make this video because a lot of them are just wrong and they still get reposted all the time. But yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Definitely subscribe if you're new here and I will see you all in my next video.